today I'm going to show you some quick and easy tips to make your Thanksgiving table beautiful, even if it's last minute. I love using things around the house that you wouldn't normally expect to use as decor, like a drop cloth. For under 10 bucks, this makes a beautiful tablecloth. So you can either rip the hems out or leave them on. For the tablecloth, I like to leave them on, and then I also like to wash it so it kind of gets like that pretty linen-y tablecloth look. Most linen tablecloths will set you back a few hundred bucks. This was 10 bucks. For the napkins, all you do is take your pieces of drop cloth, rip it. I actually like to fray the edges so that way they look like super expensive linen napkins. If people get cranberry juice all over, so another quick, easy, and inexpensive way to make your Thanksgiving table really pop is to recycle all of your glass bottles, your kombucha bottles, your wine bottles, even plastic ones, and then get some cool spray paint. I like to stick with the metallics because they actually go for almost any holiday. I can reuse these for Christmas, I can reuse these for New Year's. Take them outside, take them outside, get a little box with a lid, Put it in the center, that way you're not getting spray paint anywhere. And also, I know we hear this all the time, but use a mask so that way you don't inhale the paint. Your friends can take them home or you can keep them for additional holidays. Either way, this whole beautiful set just like costs spray paint. If you watch Queer Eye, anytime you see branches on a table, I just stole them out of the yard. So find three different things, power of threes, put them in your little vases. I love using these type of sticks because they're very sculptural. They're not just straight, you know? Straight can be boring, so get them as crazy and curvy as possible. Simple as that. I like to add candlelight into any of my dinners, especially around the holidays. So what I like to do is get really inexpensive, unfinished candlesticks. You can get these at the dollar store, you can get them online at a craft store. They're really cheap. You can paint them if you want, but I like keeping them natural because as you can see, I kind of like a neutral tablescape. Get varying height candlesticks, different colors. Pro tip, melt the end of a candle just a little bit, just a little bit before you put it in. And that way, it stays really solid and doesn't lean and doesn't drip on the table. Thanksgiving might look a little different this year, but that doesn't mean we can't have a very festive holiday. I love everything about you and everything that you did in that segment. I love your table. I love a neutral. You know, there's so much I like about this that you can reuse the, the vases that are really just a collection of your bottles, which everybody has in exactly. their recycling bins outside. Right? bottles. Exactly. Even plastic, and it looks so great. I, I, and I love that you can see through it. It's not this crazy thing. It's sparse. I hate and you, that, when you can't see the people you're talking to. And you know, whether you're having a Thanksgiving for two or three, cause you got a tiny little pod or you're zooming, you still want a pretty tablescape. I really do think it's is, uh, you really do enjoy yourself with your eyes first, whether it's food or you're at a concert. Like you need something that is striking, you know? Don't you agree? Oh, I absolutely agree. You know what, and, and like I said, this year, normally we host a nice big Thanksgiving for friends and family, but this year we're hosting a virtual Thanksgiving. Friends will be at their house, we'll be at our house, family will be at theirs. But I, I've set up little place settings for everyone anyway, so that way we can put their little device at each part of the table and they can actually feel like a bit of the conversation. So uh -oh. we set up all the bottles, the candlesticks, the, the cool dried flowers, but my last tip is for card placeholders, name placeholders. Um, so what I like to do is get a gourd, get a pumpkin. I mean, really any little vegetable that makes your heart sore. It could be a beet, honestly. Um, and I get some copper wire and wrap it around the copper wire a few times. And then just like a twist tie, I twist it around slide it right off and pro tip these gourds are actually the pretty solid little girls so use your fork stab a little hole in it and then stick it right in there and then i made also a place setting for our dog because you know he's all we have to talk to recently <laughs> and you've got a cute little i love it <laughs>